Another new city and a super fun one, but today we're gonna to be covering everything that you need to know if you're considering moving or relocating to Rockland, California. What's up everyone? We're Lance and Lauren with L2 Home Group and we're out here in Rockland, California. Specifically, we're out here at Johnson Spring View Park. And today we're gonna to be looking at everything that you need to know if you're considering moving or relocating to Rockland, California. Today's video is gonna be a higher level overview of Rockland, including things like housing, school districts, as well as some awesome things to do right here in Rockland. Now in future videos, we'll get more granular and cover some of our pros and cons, what we love and what we hate about Rockland, as well as some best neighborhoods. So stay tuned for future videos if you're interested in learning more about Rockland, California. So jumping right into it, where is Rockland located? Rockland's gonna be located in between Highway 65 and Interstate 80. It's gonna be just north of Roseville. It's gonna be a little over 19 square miles and it's gonna butt up to other cities like Lincoln, Roseville, some parts of Loomis and some parts of Granite Bay. The population here is just gonna be right around 76,000 people. And a majority of that is what we're seeing in a lot of people who are relocating here from the Bay Area or relocating from out of state and Rockland tends to be a really hot destination for a lot of people, mainly due to the school districts here and the type of living that you can expect when you're living in Rockland. Rockland is a smaller city when you are comparing it to some of the surrounding areas, so it's gonna share a lot of the same amenities that Roseville has to offer, so you're gonna be super close to the Westfield Gallery Mall, you're gonna have tons of awesome restaurants, shopping, dining options, different things like that. So Rockland does have its own awesome restaurants and it also has some uniqueness that we're gonna talk about a little bit later. Rockland is gonna be split into two main areas, really, and it's gonna be divided by its zip code. So you're gonna have East Rockland, which is gonna be a little bit closer to I-80, and that's gonna be a little bit more of that older Rockland around the South Whitney area, Rockland High School. And then you're also gonna have kind of the newer area, which is gonna be a little bit closer to Highway 65. That's where you're gonna find Whitney Ranch. You're gonna see some more of the new construction homes, a lot of builders are gonna be out there that have been kind of developing that Whitney Ranch area around the clubhouse. Most of Rockland is gonna be mainly residential neighborhoods and then you're gonna have kind of some small strip mall areas that are gonna be sprinkled throughout the city. There is gonna be a pretty major shopping center that's gonna be at the intersection of like Interstate 80 and Sierra College where you're gonna see things like Target, Walmart, uh, they have a Bass Pro shop out there, they got a Trader Joe's, and they even got a studio movie grill out there. So definitely a lot of things when it comes to shopping at that part of Interstate 80 and Sierra College. All right, the next thing we wanna talk about is the schools here in Rockland. Now, the schools is something that definitely attracts a lot of people to this area and makes it a popular place for people with growing families. Now, Rockland has two high schools that are very highly rated. First, there's Rockland High School, which was the original high school in Rockland, which rates a nine out of 10 overall a 9 out of 10 for test scores, and a 10 out of 10 for college readiness on greatschools.org. Now the other high school that's in Rockland is going to be a little bit newer. It's going to be Whitney High School that's located more closer to the Whitney Ranch area over kind of near 65. This high school rates an 8 out of 10 overall, an 8 out of 10 for test scores, and a 10 out of 10 for college readiness. Now both of these awesome high schools have great programs, for students, whether they're into athletics and they wanna do a sport, they have all the sports, they have water polo, swimming, track, football, baseball, you name it, they pretty much have that sport at both of those schools and they're really top performing in their athletics. They also have a ton of other enrichment programs from drama and, and other events like that as well. Now, Rockland also has four elementary schools that are also highly rated. Now, the first one is gonna be Valley View, which rates a nine out of 10 overall, and Twin Oaks that rates an eight out of 10 overall. Then they have Breen that rates a seven out of 10 overall. And lastly, Cobblestone that rates a seven out of 10 overall. Rockland also has one middle school that's Granite Oaks Middle School, and it rates an eight out of 10 overall. So basically, if you send your kids to any of these schools, they're gonna get a great quality education from the public schools right here in Rockland. Yeah, so that tends to be a main factor for a lot of people who are deciding to relocate from an area where they don't really know about. Rockland is gonna have awesome public schools and a majority of them are gonna be all awesome from elementary all the way up to the high school. So, you know, really when it comes down to if you're considering moving to Rockland, um, it's gonna be kind of the type of house that you're wanting to live in, but you can almost guarantee that whatever public school that your home is gonna be 
assigned to that the elementary, junior high, and high school are all gonna be highly rated. Now, one of the other things about Rockland, it also has a very popular junior college that's here. So Sierra College is also located off of Rockland Road and Sierra College Boulevard. And so that's also gonna be uh, another option. So maybe your kid goes from high school to you know a JC, knocks out some of their undergrad. So they also have a really good football program. A lot of the athletes in this area, when they're just still trying to make that jump into the college level, they'll go to that school. All in all, Sierra College is a really nice school if you're just trying to knock out your undergrad for you know junior college prices. So the next topic of things that you should know about moving to Rockland is that Rockland does a ton of really awesome community events. So we're at Johnson Springview Park. This is one of those type of mega parks that are throughout the city there's a few other ones that are sprinkled throughout here but for the most part there always seems to be like there's something going on at this park or just throughout Rockland in general one of the local churches here Destiny Church puts on a pretty big 4th of July fireworks show at one of the major parks over off of uh, Park and Sunset I believe and that one usually has food trucks it has you know 4th of July fireworks show it has live music and that one's always usually a really fun one to go to if you don't want to make the drive all the way out to Lincoln but you still want a really good high quality fireworks show there's also the rockland community festival that has different types of live events it has you know beer and wine tasting it has carnival games it has a bunch of different fun things that you can take the family out to um, right here locally in the community there's going to be the concerts at quarry park which is another park over by quarry park adventures which is a super cool place rockland also does a ton of different running events so one of the big running events they do here is called run rockland where they do a half marathon a 5k and i think they do a couple um, sprinting dashes for the kiddos it's a great thing where you can come out, you can register for one of the races, it raises money for the local city and they give back to the city through that race. It's a pretty cool event where you've got high school runners that'll come out and run it, you've got all ages that'll come out and run this race and it's a pretty popular event for Rockland where you'll definitely see someone that you know. So one of the other fun things to do in Rockland is they also just put in the brand new Quarry Park Adventures where they have, you know, kind of built into this big, you know, quarry pit where they have zip lines, they have rock climbing walls, they have kind of vertical drops. So that's always a really fun one to take, you know, the family out to. We took our daughter there a couple of years ago for her birthday with her friends and it was just, it was a super fun experience. So that's also another thing um, right next to kind of quarry park where you, you know, where they do all the concert series. There's also quarry park adventures. So before we jump into our next topic, just to remind you, we do love talking about everything as it relates to living in Sacramento. So if you are loving this information, go ahead, hit that like and subscribe button we do drop new videos every tuesday and friday on what it's like to live in sacramento and the surrounding area so on top of that we are also licensed real estate agents in the state of california which means as much as we love making these videos we love helping you more with all of your real estate needs so there should be a number popping up go ahead reach out to us give us a call give us a text shoot us that email we love connecting with you guys and actually answering your questions as it relates to moving or relocating to this area all right so the next thing we want to make sure that we cover is that you know what you're getting into when you move here in regards to the the weather. So right now we're kind of in the, the spring transition to summer. It's kind of warm out, not too hot. It kind of just jumped to summer actually. <laughs> we went from rainy weather to uh, you know, low 90s, but you know, we had a little bit of spring in there. So during our summer months, it does get pretty hot here. But one of the cool things is that there are parks that are here in Rockland. A lot of the parks have splash pads. So there's three parks in Rockland that do have splash pads that run every day from 10 a.m. to 8 p.m. So during the summer, if you want to bring your kiddos out to cool off, you don't have to travel outside of Rockland to get that cool feature of a splash pad. Now, if you are interested in something though, like going boating or hanging out on the lake, you're not that far from the Granite Bay entrance into Folsom Lake. So if that's something that you wanna do for the day to escape the heat, you are close to that. Now, our summers, like we said, they do get hot. We do have multiple days where it's over 100 degrees, you know, so you will be most likely running your air conditioner to kind of account for that heat. Now, our winters on the opposite hand can be cold, but nothing crazy. So our winters here can get down into the... Uh, they can get into like the low 30s. It doesn't usually, you know, rain and get cold at the same time, so it doesn't turn into snow. It's either really cold, um, but bright sunny days, so kind of deceiving, or it's rainy weather and it's in like mid 40s. So um, it's usually either rain or cold, but nothing super crazy. And that's only usually in the early morning hours and then it warms up to like, you know, mid 40s to, to low 50s. Yeah, so depending on where you're coming from, our version of cold might not be that cold for you. To us, cold can be 50s or 60s or 40s, but it doesn't get really, really, you know, we don't get into the 20s or any negative degrees here. And then you have the fall and the spring. So the fall and spring are still absolutely beautiful. 
Sometimes they may be a little bit short. Sometimes they may be kind of sprinkled in and sporadic throughout, you know, some warmer days. But when you do get that like mid 70s to low 80s feel, that breeze is going, spring and fall can be absolutely beautiful here. It's going to be very similar to some of the other areas that we've talked about on this channel, like Roseville, even Sacramento, uh, Granite Bay. So a little bit hotter in the summertime, a little bit colder in the wintertime, nothing super crazy or polarizing on either end of those. And then you're going to have some pretty awesome spring and falls. Now, the next one that we're going to talk about is traffic. So, you know, obviously with more people that are coming to the area, the traffic is going to get a little bit more congested. It's still nothing crazy like San Francisco or LA, but we have started to see traffic get a little bit heavier so depending on where you're coming from if you're on the east side of Rockland you're gonna take highway 80 that's gonna either take you up towards North Lake Tahoe it's gonna either take you towards Sacramento or San Francisco if you're on the west side of Rockland you're gonna be a little bit closer to highway 65 that freeway is gonna merge into highway 80 um, that one may be a little bit longer um, there is some congestion as you get kind of closer to the Galleria Mall and kind of where Roseville and Rockland and everything kind of merges together they're still working on that they've improved it a lot but it could still be a little bit congested at times. So if you're tracking it or you kind of want to get an idea, again, this kind of depends on what side of Rockland that you're coming from, but it's going to be about 29 minutes from Rockland to downtown Sacramento if you have a, a job that's going to require you to go into the city or go in and commute down into Sacramento. Rockland up to Lake Tahoe is probably an hour 30 or an hour 40 as it relates to minutes, and that's going to take you up to North Lake Tahoe. If you want to go to South Lake Tahoe, where a lot more of the casinos and some of the more vibrant area of South Lake Tahoe is going to be, it's probably going to be a little bit longer than that because you got to drive across town to then get to Highway 50. And then from Rockland to San Francisco, it's going to be about an hour and 50 minutes. So probably count on two, two and a half hours with traffic. But based off of just, you know, looking at this at a random time, it's going to be about an hour and 53 minutes. All right. So if you're thinking about moving to Rockland for crazy, awesome nightlife and that kind of city vibe, this might not be the place for you. Rockland doesn't have a ton of nightlife. It is definitely more of that suburban feel where a lot of things shut down around 9, 930. Um, but you can drive into Sacramento if you're looking for an evening to go out and stay out late. Rockland does have some entertainment, like Lance said earlier, with you know concerts in the park and different kind of community events and, and entertainment that comes in that way. Otherwise, if you're looking for more like performing arts type of things, you know that's something that you would probably want to travel into Sacramento for. You know, you'll have some bars um, if you want to kind of check out that scene. Uh, you know, and have some nice restaurants. Some of our favorite restaurants are located in Rockland as well. But for the most part, you know. It's not going to have like, you know, that kind of downtown scene as it relates to clubs and things like that. So lastly, since we are real estate agents, our last topic is going to be about housing and then what you can expect to see if you're deciding to make the move to Rockland. Now, we will be going into much more depth into some of the, the neighborhoods that uh, a lot of people are gravitating towards. But for the most part, you're going to expect to see a majority of single family homes in Rockland. Uh, they're going to have, you know, everything from track housing. There's a couple of gated communities that are in Rockland. Like I said, we're going to cover all of that in our best neighborhood neighborhoods of Rockland or some of our top neighborhoods of Rockland in a future video but you know again single family homes there are going to be some areas that are going to be newer construction homes that are going to be kind of to the west side of Rockland over in that Whitney Ranch area that one also has a clubhouse over there you are going to have a little bit of everything though so there are a few uh, areas of Rockland that are going to have condos they're going to have townhomes but a majority of Rockland is going to be single family homes you also have a gated community that's up by the Whitney Oaks golf course so those are going to be some of your more higher end homes they're going to sit you know maybe closer to that million dollar price point um, gated community so that's also really cool so stay tuned to a future video we're going to cover medium price points we're going to cover the kind of the highs the lows the entry points of some of those price points so as we start diving into some of those neighborhoods in Rockland we'll cover some of those medium price points but entry price points for Rockland are probably going to be somewhere in the mid fives and they can go all the way up to just a little bit over one to 1.5 million dollars so this is what we specialize in we help people get to know the area if you're thinking that Rockland California is going to be an area that you want to explore more there should be a number popping up go ahead reach out to us we love hopping on a zoom call or a phone call connecting with you guys and getting to understand a little bit more about what some of your goals your needs your wants some of those things that you're looking for as you make the move to Rockland California so again that number should be popping up we do answer every phone call every text message and every email and we look forward to hearing from you guys soon